Dr. Mead, this is an era of automation in which millions are being displaced from jobs. How can capitalism meet this challenge? By realizing that we're living in a different kind of world from the world in which many of our economic theories develop. That we're now incredibly rich with tremendous resources and that instead of looking at automation as a way of displacing people, we ought to look at automation as a way of getting a lot of dirty work done that used to keep people in factories so that the people will be free to do many other jobs that we also are quite rich enough to pay for as a nation. Now, who would be the employer of these people in the other jobs? All sorts of, of people. Uh, governments, state, federal, local, organizations, associations. They perform services as people perform services now. Only we need so many more services. And we're going to free people who could be used in them if we train them right and set the thing upright. Isn't this somewhat of a socialistic concept with more and more people working for government agencies and less and less working in private enterprise because of automation? Well, it's, it's only socialistic if you regard every piece of progress ever made in the United States as socialistic because we've been able to take most of the labor off the farms and have it done by machines. Soviet Union can't, and almost everybody in the Soviet Union still has to work on a farm. Now, who's socialistic? Our technology or theirs? If people will work for the community in various uh, ways, won't the private enterprise recede into the background gradually? I don't think so. I mean, if you, if you identify private enterprise with manufacturing, we're going to employ fewer people in manufacturing. It'll be done by machines. If you identify private enterprise with agriculture, we're going to employ fewer people on farms. But if you think of private enterprise as the organization on private initiative of things that society needs, then I see no reason to say that private enterprise will receive. You say that the present community services are inadequate and require a lot of manpower to meet uh, at a time when automation is requiring less manpower to produce material goods. Could you uh, elaborate on that? Our cities are badly policed. Uh, all over this country we have burglary and crime that's a result of inadequate police force. Our schoolrooms are crowded. We need more schools and we need more people in the schools. We need more people to take care of the children so the teachers can teach. Our hospitals are understaffed. Our aging people aren't cared for. Uh, our handicapped children need more people to care for them. Our mental ill are herded into hospitals of thousands when they could easily be brought out and made parts of the community again. This is the sort of thing I mean. You feel then that those who are displaced by automation in private enterprise could very well be put to good use in providing these community services. Yes, but they'll have to be educated and trained, and the, we'll have to change some of our conceptions. And we'll have to realize that when machines do the manufacturing, we're richer, not poor. Do you think the nation realizes this uh, automation problem and uh, how capitalism must change to uh, meet it? No, I think we're almost as stupid as at present, almost as bemused as the workers that broke the first textile machines in England because they thought that they would destroy their job. And we're in almost the same state today. But we're going to have to come out, and fortunately, with modern communications, such as radio and TV, maybe we can come out faster.